I've already Instagrammed Hi. it. Good morning, everybody. Hello. We're a bit late, yeah, as usual. Yeah, as, <laughs> I mean, as usual. But I feel like that's kind of our our mark of what, what's the thing? What's the word? I don't know what the word is. I'm looking for it. Yeah, exactly. We just okay. I see you. Is Tom is here and Tim and I here. So good Yay. morning to the both Hello. of you. Thanks for being here. Yeah. And then, and good morning to future people who probably live in time zones that this does not yeah. fit well with. But right. I love a, a little morning shader jam. Yeah, me too. Favorite, so. Me too. Yeah, some way it's good. And then and then for us in that sense we then have like the rest of the day in the sun. So totally. No, yeah. when, I mean, is this sunny where you are? Just yeah, where you now are. now since like just this week actually, so or maybe like really? middle of Easter it's, got better actually, so so it's been like yeah, it was maybe a full week. So sunny here, and then it got gray. Oh no, maybe it will come so, back. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, I see the clouds are like sort of thin. I can see a light blue in the background <laughs> trying to get through, but it's not quite there yet. Uh, um, it wouldn't be your stream if you would be on time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, probably. Exactly. <laughs> so you should know that when we say we're going to be at this time, it means like 15 minutes or 30 minutes after that. So. Or, yeah, exactly. But I think we did good, though. I mean, plus yeah. you have a new camera set up. Yeah. And they, oh, I like that. Adjusting CEST time to CM time. I feel like that should be a thing. <laughs> uh, by the way, how, how are our volume levels? I hope that uh, are we like oh, yes. uh, on the same levels? Are we good? Can you let us know? I feel like. Yeah, because I la, always la, la. can hear everything OK, so I cannot tell if you don't hear. So you have true. I mean, you and I can hear, hear you. So you have to tell us. Also, I don't know either. Yeah, exactly. So we don't feel it. But they don't say anything. So I'm assuming that everything is cool. Yeah. No, you sound good I to me. On my iPad, you sound good. Here. We're equals. Finally, we got it. OK. Yeah, I just don't yeah. want to be screaming, either of us. So. No, you're definitely not screaming. No, you sound very clear. It makes me want to update my mic, but I like my little mic. It's so tiny and compact. I think Anyways. your mic is always great, honestly. Really? No, but yours yeah. is like clearer. Mine is not ah, as okay. big. Mine is a little bit cheaper, but it does the trick. It, in a it pinch. does, I would Plus, say. Plus, I can plug it into my iPhone, so it's, mm. I don't know why I would do that. It is practical in that mm. sense for when I do my yoga classes. Yeah, you're right. Because, yeah, maybe this one is clearer, but it's a whole monster. <laughs> that if you go somewhere, like, you have I don't to bring know where the... I would put that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, no. I think with the arm and everything, I don't think I would have space for it in my tiny little... Yeah. The studio corner of my bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, we're kind of the same. So I just hook it up now. I normally don't keep it here like some people, I Oh, suppose. you take the whole thing down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... In between... I didn't realize that. Mm -mm. I mean, for people that had bigger desk I suppose if I would I would just keep it there yeah because then it's easier not yeah. to have to do it all over again but since I have tiny space I prefer to just remove everything so Otherwise, I mean I get way. that you've seen the intro videos to all of the like West boss courses he's got like five screens and like a giant arm yeah and a huge yeah. monstrous like video game yeah. chair I'm always like wow that's that's the dream desk I would say uh, if I had the space <laughs> to be able you to have, have yeah, everything sure. that you can and like a ring light yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe one day. <laughs> OK, everything sounds fine in the comments, too. Yay, OK. Well, since you haven't had breakfast yet, take mm -hmm. a moment to eat your breakfast. And I will explain a few things about today. I mean, today is going to be a really Yay. quick stream because I have to go vote. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we're going to probably stop around 1230. But I thought it would be fun since last time when we streamed together, um, we were we ended uh, a little bit confused about we ended the stream we were in a spot where we were a little confused about how to like layer colors together um, so I thought it could be fun to look at how to do that in terms of like already like layering different UV layers and then how to like blend the colors like Photoshop blend mode styles so I have uh, yeah I have like a little project that I was playing around with before when I told you a couple weeks ago that I figured it out that I figured we could play with today. So I guess that's what we're going to do if everyone's fine with that. Um, I guess, shall I start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna, I was fearing my muting because okay. I don't think I mute myself correctly. Oh, okay. 
Well, okay. So like the, the first thing to know is that, yeah, if you want to, or at least the way that I like to think about it is like, so we have the UVs here at the top of the main function. Um, and so we can create something in that UV space. And so the idea being that like, if you want to superimpose, is that an English word? Superpose in French? I think it's superimpose. <laughs> if you want to like put a bunch of stuff on top of a bunch of stuff that you've already created, you want to um, take the UVs and save them in another uh, variable. So vec2 p equals uv, for example. We've got another bunch of uvs now to play with. But like, let's... Um, you mean that so that we can have like a, an extra uv, right? That is not tweaked. That's what you were trying to explain. That's why you created this p. Yeah, so like so what we have two do UVs. Later is we're going to... Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. We're duplicating. We're going to use two different UV spaces to position two different types of elements. And then they can each element can have their own like color schemes. And then you can take those two layers and merge them together, which I'm going to show at the end. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, the first thing we can do is like the base layer of the like the first. We can use the regular UVs mm -hmm. first and then we'll use the PUVs. Yeah. Um, let me see. I picked, I, I have like some colors that I picked because when we do the blend modes later, you can really see it. So I'm just going to like switch this to like a random, really weird color. It's like an ugly green, but it'll make sense after. So let's say, I don't think, well, we can keep this somewhere, but I don't think right now I use time actually, but okay. So our base color is green. Um, I'm going to make a little grid, just like position grid to position some element. Um, we're going to take that first layer of UVs and then we're going to use mod to lay out a grid. Um, minus two. So we are creating the grid, um, aka repeating pos pixel positions across space basically. Just like, I don't know. I always have to remind myself of that so I don't feel like I'm like dividing up one main space. I'm actually shrinking space down and repeating it. Um, okay, so why don't we make some dots? Because I like spheres and bubbles and dots. I'm excited <laughs> that all... you're using mod instead of fract because I always do my I mean, grids yeah, with fract. <laughs> yeah. But uh, ah, yeah, that's my really? Name. Oh, it's true. Yeah, but I love it because it's, it's like, it's, it's two of those functions, like when we were uh, doing the circle the last time, right? Or the ring that there are like two ways to do it is the same when you do yeah. a grid. You can do it with more fract. Um, in some cases, mod is yeah, better think... if you have like in three, like if you do in ray march, sometimes mod is better to to actually duplicate okay. the space. Um, but when you're in 2D you space why? for the grid, yeah, you could do it with frag sometimes. Um, but do you know why it's better with uh, ray marching? Um, I don't know. It, just what, when I was uh, studying with another person and we were trying it, the, the problem that we had with Fract is that um, it wasn't really like duplicating the 3D space like well. It was kind of like you, for example, let's say you had uh, two circles, you could see half yeah. of them. I mean, you, you would duplicate the space, but you wouldn't see the full circle. And then we use mod and then it's perfect. So. But oh, yeah. we had so that problem in very much too, world. Like, so. fract, fract will divide, uh, we'll, we'll split it across the space, but it won't shrink everything to be contained within your screen, whereas mod will. Yes, yes. For me, that's the way that I yeah. think of it. Yeah, and that's where I saw it in with Raymarch, especially because you have like this uh, 3D stuff inside your space, right? And when you're working in 2D, yeah. if you're just like doing a flat color, for example, then frac mm -hmm. is okay because you just have this, you don't see that... Um, space that is not contained like you were saying right that is not fully complete yeah yeah it'll be like cut off or whatever kind of on the screen um okay so i made some dots which we don't see yet because i haven't given them a color so we're gonna make them have a color like three and i will like explain like my code once we see stuff on the screen properly but yeah i'm just like picking some colors that um, mix well together for the blend modes later. Um, so that's the colors. Did I do something wrong? No, no errors so far. And then so already to put our dots, we're going to do um, 
a mix function. So color, well, I guess not color, we'll do layer one um, equals mix, which is Alethea's favorite function. Um, dots color, color, which is the background color, the green, and then dots being the element that makes it. Still no error, so we're good. And then, so we're gonna add the shapes to the scene. I mean, I know it's not really a scene because it's not ray marching, but I still think of it that way. Um, okay, normally we will have dots now. Did I do something wrong? Oh, right, There's, I didn't call um, it C this time. I called it layer. So normally we should have some dots, but I we don't do see not them. have dots. Maybe they're too small in this case? No, I don't think so. Um, let me see. Did I layer I one or the dots color? Color dots. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. It's here. I did my grid wrong. Oh, I yeah. see them. Dots. Yeah. Okay. Gigantor dots. <laughs> so we have. I mean, I on my screen, I see like four dots. Same um, here. But that's because my screen is small. Okay. Cool. Oh wait. But let me see. Let me let me let me check because I can resize. Oh, maybe do it you because if I do it, the OBS is gonna. But it's fun sometimes to resize. Oh, maybe actually I can resize yeah. this thing. I mean, we have the yeah. So if I put the dots on yeah, like it's always the lower four section and the code on top, it I just wanted it goes to, to six. So ah, if I put, yeah, okay. if I put the code on top, and, but it's fine. This is still going to show the point of what we're trying to show. Mm -hmm. So we have our first layer. We used um, like the UVs up here when we created the grid on line twenty one. Um, so now. Uh, if we want to say like, what if I wanted to put a giant dot on top of everything? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna then we're gonna take um, Let's see create giant dot create giant top dot on the top layer top layer, so then we're gonna define a big dot <laughs> I'm gonna use step I'm gonna use distance and this time instead of uv i'm going to use p which is the other the UV clean that uv created on 15 mm -hmm. on line 15. Mm -hmm. so it's the exact same uv space as when we defined uvs on 14 but we haven't manipulated it yet so yeah, yeah. so yeah clean clean uvs um and then i'm gonna do click to zero and 0.5 so that's our giant dot, which we can't see yeah. yet. So I haven't given it a color. If there's any um, people watching that use P5, I would think that uh, making this like clone UV would be like yeah. using push and pop because, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, I actually have that in my notes. Yeah, okay. Oh, ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Like how it works. For yeah. me, it's the same. It's like you're creating a universe and then you're, you're jumping out of it. So, yeah, because for people that. that uh, is uh, coming from that world is that you don't want what you're doing in like a second um, drawing that you're doing in your art to be hmm. um, to have any of the same that the first one had like you wanted to ha be like yeah. independent like that's why you would just push and pop in P5 oh, and here you do that are you oh now my camera switched oh, I didn't mix into it a weird modus now did it? Wait, I lost you. Oh yeah, um, you're like yeah. squished. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Why? I don't know. Why are you squished? That's so strange. Wait, I you're know. using your webcam camera, no? Is it an OBS thing? Uh, no, no, I think it's a stupid camera and it's not a webcam, it's like a camera camera so that um, annoys me even more because and it's a Sony digital camera so it should it should work. <laughs> it should be 69, yeah. yeah. Oh no. I will check um, some when I finish my coffee. Yeah. Okay, so I was trying to add the shape and I hadn't actually layered it in yet. So we're layering mm -hmm. it the exact same way with mix, this giant dot that you can't see yet. Um, color, big dot, color. So those are the two colors you're mixing together and you're mixing them via the big dot we defined uh, as our shape. And now we can add that to the scene the exact same way. So, so far it's like super simple. You just keep 
saying color equals this new layer. We have a gigantic dot. <laughs> oh, I see now why. Wait, hold on. Okay, let's pause and fix the camera because... No, my battery is dying. I just saw that. So everything is going oh. to shut down. I forgot to plug my... Uh, that's why I did models. Because I saw that I think we went offline from Twitch. Did we? I think for I a moment. I can still see us. Yeah, now. Really? I think now we're back. Yeah, but we were off. That's I don't think I, I saw us. Look off. Okay. Oh, really? Can people? Can any? No, yeah. So we've say everyone can still see us. We didn't go off. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Good. No, we're still good. Yay. Damn. Okay. So, so far, sorry. so good, by the way. Can so close to become a, a glitch because I saw like one minute or no, what? One, two percent battery. I was like, oh no. Oh no. Um, I use the variable name P for the UV because you can name variables anything you want. I mean, I guess I could have named it like banana or UV number mm -hmm. two. Exactly. Um, but yeah, no, I just picked P for person, like maybe P for position. Yeah, that also makes sense. But I mean, you can I'm call it like, like UV2, for example, if yeah. you prefer, it, it's up to you. I mean, I'm happy to switch it if people are like confused, UV2. Maybe but I mean, I'm very like mm. flippant with my, with my uh, variable, variable namings. Okay, so UV2 maybe is clear. And then someone said also, why are you defining layers and then redefining color as opposed to doing it straight away? I just like to do things in steps. So for me, it's, it's, it's like more clear if I have the color here and then I mix it in here. I feel like it's uh, clear, especially if someone else is looking at my code later and wants to like understand um, like what's happening. Um, okay, so we have basically these two layers, which is where we got stuck last time. Um, yeah. We can do like the fun the fun part i find which is like the photoshop blend mode someone slipped mm. into the chat last time i think it was nicole godot blending options yeah yeah i think okay. it was i feel i have a feeling it was nicole because mm. thank you she nicole. sent that to me the you. other it was time you. i think, oh, I think it's it so was lovely her. i've been playing around with it yeah it's super fun mm -hmm. so like we have our two layers and basically once you've got your you can and you can like I can make a third layer I can make a fourth layer you can add rotation matrices to things if you want everything mm -hmm. to spin you can add time to make everything move um, which we might do if we have time but just before we get to that part I feel like it's fun to look at all of the blend modes. yeah because, yeah. because for the people modes, watching so like, this is what like we got stuck here the yeah, last time that we stream but we had already streamed for two hours so we decided uh, today to focus on this um, step of um, yeah. whenever and you want to layer the colors differently. Yeah, and it's, I find the blend mode so fun because like it changes the whole vibe. Like here, the first one that I know is multiply. Like every, it's the first one that I used to reach for in Photoshop always. I'm not really sure why. Cause it's not like particularly. Uh, you know, pretty, but it's whatever. Mm -hmm. So if you take layer one and you multiply that by layer two, mm -hmm. you get a multiply vibe. So it's like mm -hmm. a gross poopy color, but you get the idea. Yeah. The colors are kind of like um, fu fusing into each other. Mm -hmm. um, so that's multiply. Then there's also like screen, which is going to be color. Wait, what's screen again? Screen I feel like color. the multiply one version um sorry i think uh matt show us that when we, he came probably in december oh yeah and he did the yeah because he had the weird shaped thing underneath yeah the, exactly so we we, yeah. we saw this only these two modes so i'm excited that you're going to show us more I was gonna say. <laughs> a little review. yeah screen is uh i mean these are just like um formulas okay i didn't like come up with this at all mm -hmm. so they're out there online for sure but anyways we're putting them in this project so if you ever which we'll probably make public because we usually do so then you can play with them if you want whoops layer two um and then i can turn this guy off and so this is screen which is like you see like how different the colors are mm -hmm. depending on the mode that you decide to play around with it's like more light um, on them yeah it's all pastel-y mm -hmm. it's fun and the other is more dark um, um, like it has like yeah. 
a black layer in between them. Uh, Personally, I think I prefer screen because multiply is like, yeah, it's poopy. There's like a brown on top. I don't, I'm not into it. <laughs> um, then what else is there? There's a uh, difference, which is pretty simple. This one isn't easy to remember. It's just absolute function. And then you've got layer one minus layer, layer two. And then obviously, so not obviously, I shouldn't say that because it's not obvious for everybody. But so if you wanted to like have a third layer and blend into uh, these two first layers, you would save the result of this in a variable and then you would re-blend re it with whatever other blend mm -hmm. mode you want, right? It mm -hmm. would become layer three and then you would create layer mm -hmm. four and then keep merging. And that's mm -hmm. when you get like layers on layers on layers. Mm -hmm. So difference, of, of course, is tracing the um, shape so you're getting the original layer, tr but traced through the shape of the second layer, and then you mm. lose the exterior of that mm. first layer on the second layer, if that makes sense? Yeah. Um, then there is uh, exclusion, which, like, to be honest, like, if you were to tell me, like, describe the difference between difference and exclusion, I wouldn't be able to unless I saw it but mm -hmm. I'm just typing them in here so that we know. I think for the so people that uh, come from design world and for them, all of those are know. very, yeah, because yeah, Photoshop is like, um, I, I, I think maybe even the blend modes were named um, after Photoshop because of Adobe, because uh, I, I'm not sure if it was them or yeah. maybe somebody before them, but um, I have a feeling that they were one of the first event, ones. Event wow. So this is exclusion. So then here you're adding layer one and layer two, subtracting it mm. from two, and then multiplying them together again, which is interesting. I don't know if you can tell on Twitch, but if you look really close mm -hmm. here on the um, circle, the big circle, you can see where there's like the purple part, mm -hmm. but the outline of it still goes out around I the see brown it part. Because you're using smooth it's fun, mode. No? It's, I think yeah. it's because you're using smooth mode. I find that mode. kind of fun. Mm. Yeah, so you can also, I guess, play around with the, like, maybe you just want to use step instead of smooth step, but I mm -hmm. kind of love smooth step, mm -hmm. but yeah. So that's exclusion. Wait, I'll leave that for now. And then after exclusion, there's, like, your basic overlay, which is kind of nice, um, which is a little bit more complicated. I mean, normally you'd put it in a function on its own, but just because I like steps and clarity, we're going to do it one by one. So mm -hmm. you create your base which is layer one, mm. um, you create your blend, which is going to be layer two. I mean, you can also swap them, obviously. But then you also create your limit um, variable, which is going to be a step between five and your base mm -hmm. layer. Then you're going to define all of that in uh, this little mix, slightly large mix function, actually. So you're going to do 2.0 times base times blend. Like, I'm literally, this is literally me just, like, re retaking the Godot formula. But, yeah, 2.0 times... Who did you say? Guido formula? Or whose formula? It's just like a, there's, like, Godot is, like, a, an environment for people to, like, do creative coding in. Um, mm -hmm. And they just like have a website somewhere with with all of these like formulas. Oh, okay. Um, for Photoshop blend modes that you can do with shaders, basically. Mm -hmm. 1.0 um, minus the blend. I mean, I would love to like take the time to like properly understand what's happening in these functions, but I feel like <laughs> I don't have the time, which is fine. I'd rather play around with them than anything. So this is overlay, and of course, if you want to like swap the layers around you can and then that happens so that's the most complicated one of all of them I think after that it gets like really easy again there's like color dodge um which is basically oh, it's just really like all the photoshop <laughs> yeah honestly I'm glad that it's you're crazy, showing no? it because I think when Nicole shared that link um I never like really looked looked it up by myself oh no it's and when yeah. I was playing I mean, with blend months say... last year myself to figure out, uh, I only ended up using like the version, th the first one, the multiply. That's the one that uh, I figured yeah. out with another person as we were trying by ourselves, like how to do this. And, and that's the one that I stay 
so I never like thought about like oh how to do this like other screen difference closure so yeah I mean I think for me the color dodge is my favorite I also picked colors that made it make it really bright and fun but you know mm -hmm. I love playing with all of these and it can be fun to like mix different ones like have layer one and two be color dodge and then have it be a third layer that you then like I don't know um, do exclusion with or something mm -hmm. someone just said Oh, it's old Sagosha. Thank you. It was him that posted the Godot shaders snippet. Oh, like, basically, okay. this is so what I'm basing cool. the entire stream off of today. It was so helpful because they do the they do the simplified. Um, I'm gonna put it on screen. Formulas Hold at the on. top, so that people can sure. see it. I think they I put it now. I remember I put it last time too. <laughs> yeah, they do the simplified formulas at the top, and then you scroll down, and they have functions that you can just like take. Ah, uh, yeah, they are here. Actually, your shader all project of them. if you want. And yeah. the key though is understanding if you want to layer is that you need to beforehand um, y like have those two UV universes to play with because mm -hmm. or else you're going to be, I mean, you can probably do it with one like, like in one UV world, but then it'll be a different kind of vibe. Mm. So, yeah. yeah I also skip things like soft light and hard light them. because like I didn't, I don't personally love those ones. Where yeah, do we don't have yeah, to. So I mean, there are so dodge. many, honestly. And people, now that I see yeah. the website, and that would um, thank you, old Sigotia, for putting it there on the oh, chat. <laughs> so people can actually yeah. go to the chat and, you you know, like they're already like actually prepared as functions, which is even like sometimes even more useful than just writing like mm. with variables within the shader. So it's a little bit cleaner code. So, so yeah, that's great totally. for people to just come here and grab them. Um, I'm back. What is Color Dodge actually doing? I think that is, I don't know. I mean, I actually don't know. I, I, I don't know what um, part of the colors are dodging what. I think they're dodging each other and then ending up in different places in the color spectrum. But like, I'm not a, I'm not a graphic designer, so I don't actually know. You are though, Alicia. I am, I am. <laughs> but uh, I was gonna say, like, what, what actually does the word "dodge" means? Like, can you explain it with other words? Because, for example, me, I'm not an English dodge native speaker, like, so I don't even know what you know dodge. In, like, you know, in like the Matrix, when Neo, like, slow motion leans back and like the bullet misses him, he's dodging the bullet. He's like moving out of the way of the bullet, oh. which is why. Okay, from the what... name, I could not deduce what the heck is happening color-wise. So this, would this translate or is this like a synonym of uh, color moving kind of? No, there's no mo Dodging is really just like getting out of the way. I mean, maybe I suppose you could say that there's an action ah, in there. Ah, okay. But it's more that you're not in front of the... I guess it's, I guess it's going gonna, it's gonna to produce colors that aren't in the main colors we define because, yeah, you're not... You're dodging the, the colors. I don't know. Does that make sense? Let me, uh, make sense? to allude to make a sudden. Qu I had to look into a dictionary. Sorry, it's just, it's just one of the no, things you know that uh, when you're not a native speaker and then you see those things and then you use it, but you actually don't know what it means. Uh, yeah, you have to find the analogy that works see for you. It. Okay. Yeah, to move quickly from one side. Okay, I don't dodge it in the car. I mean. To, uh, to avoid. I don't know if I was helpful at all. To avoid, yeah. yeah so I think it's so. probably picking colors at the opposite side of the spectrum or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be my guess. Let me, for example, and we can also, comment it to see what was before, right? So if we comment it, then we see like yeah, we, yeah. without the no dot. So. And then. By the way, I'm, I'm going to comment yeah, exclusion so that's the too. the original. That's exclusion. Yeah, so then you want to have just the two layers. And then if I only want to have color dodge. Color dodge. Uh, yeah so it's yeah. like mm, i guess it's in a way it's multiplying it first because you see them all first of all like you see all the layers but you you see them solid I mean, you always see all the layers but you see them you solid see through in, because, in well, because solid if you look color. at the on line 55 um your it's layer one is being divided by mm -hmm. one minus layer two Mm -hmm. I guess there's something with the opacity there. Let me remove the my one. Why do you have to like to subtract the? Uh, because yeah, I mean that's the that's the. Um, uh, oh my goodness! Now I'm forgetting the word. But that's basically like the. 
Oh, what's the word? I said it like five times in the stream already. But yeah, these are basically the um, the little recipes for each of these techniques. So I, mm -hmm. I didn't like put the one there myself. It's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I was just removing it to see if we can <laughs> understand better as well, like yeah. uh, why you like have to also divide it, but like, you know, have the minus one kind of like inversion. It's in my head all the time that I see the one minus that you want to invert things. I mean, I think that, I mean, the one is going to be full white, right? So you're d d mm -hmm. subtracting layer two from like full white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I have that feeling with shaders when you do the one minus is because you want to invert that like white and black uh, spectrum depending mm. on where you have it uh, a lot of the times. Yeah. So if the circle Definitely. is white and the background is black, you want to like swap it and make the circle like you black. You see it a lot too in the... In the other ones, like mm -hmm. in um, overlay, there's a one also a few times. So there's a lot of like flipping back and forth. Because like, okay, so if one minus is going to be like flipping the from black to white kind of direction. Mm -hmm. The colors are merging into each other. And multiply is kind of like overlaying, like merging them. Then to me, that follows. I still don't know specifically how to describe color dodge, though. I'm sorry <laughs> to people in the comments. <laughs> But I mean, I just kind of like to play around with them without necessarily um, needing to know like how they work. As long as they make something pretty, I'm pretty content. But yeah, I mean, dodge just means avoiding the thing. And so if you're, I guess, what is it avoiding? Probably the one is the thing being avoided, I guess. Anyways. I don't know, but I'll I was going to say and that. If I figure it out, I'll post it I on think Instagram. <laughs> It's fine. Maybe we don't explain this one so truly because maybe that's good as well for some of, of the viewers to that they are like doing shaders and um, you know that sometimes you don't have to like know uh, word by word everything. Um, it doesn't mean that you don't know nothing just because you cannot explain sometimes one thing or do you, you don't even want to look into it so deeply. Mm. Uh, no, you want to move on to another well, stuff, so. I will say that the way that it's described is that it's apparently supposed to help making the effect of merging colors look more natural. Mm -hmm. If you Google, like, what is color dodge? That's the first thing that comes up. But, yeah, I mean, let's do the next one. The next yeah. one, anyways, is linear dodge, which is similar, um, but different. <laughs> similar, but different. Linear dodge. So linear dodge is almost simpler Actually, it is just uh, layer one plus layer two. I wonder if they so call it I don't know because about it goes in a line. <laughs> well, because when you add two, like if you add X and Y together, for yeah. example, in terms of like positions, it creates yeah. the like straight line across. Yeah. So I guess that's the thing that defines the color tones, which is lovely and pastel mm -hmm. with some like funny kind of s weird salmon pink in the, in the second layer. I do like that it creates the opacity, though. I think that's my favorite thing about... Um, Blend modes. Um, and then we Which have opacity burn. do you mean? Like, in this well, case? Because, like, you can see the dots, right? So, like, if I just have uh, layer one and layer two, you don't have that. Like, the pink circle ah, okay. is solid. Okay. That's what you mean. So, okay. there's definitely something happening okay. with, the, mm. with the UVs somehow. Mm. Yeah. So then, yeah, what's the other one? The other one is burn, which when I was younger, like a teenager, and I'd play with Photoshop, I'd always do this to my photos, and it was, I thought it was the coolest thing, but it was actually terrible. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but it just kind of makes everything, like, a little bit more intense. Um, this is, you're going to do one minus layer, whoops, I forgot the minus, minus layer one, and then you're going to divide it by layer two. I feel like this would be more interesting if I actually understood what was happening. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is basically burn. So you kind of lose the colors of the first layer, and mm -hmm. you just get them as, I guess, little holes. Or like they, you, it's perforating, and you get to peek at the second layer. But it's funny because I feel Your like first layer was the big circle, to remind myself? No, my second layer, my it's second the, the layer is the big circle. And the first one is the two Which is funny, okay. you know? So like if you inverse... Then you see the opposite, gonna, I think. Yeah. You burn it in the opposite direction, yeah. yeah. 
what I can see, so and, and I forgot that you can play with the layer. <clears throat> I forgot the word. Uh, uh, you see, I'm, I'm a designer, but I haven't really do full design in many years now, <laughs> so I forget all the yeah. terms that I was gonna say. Like, I think now, for example, in burn, we're masking. This, this is a word that you use a lot in design. Yes, yeah, that's so the word I was looking to. I we're masking. The, that's yes. why I want. I was asking which which is the big. Um, so you say the layer two is the big one. So it seems that we're masking yeah. the big one, the layer two into yeah. the layer one in here. That's Same why when you don't see it. Also a mask. And for the yeah. people that it doesn't come from design world and doesn't know what masking means, it almost means that you're kind of like cutting. Um, yeah. The outside of. Uh, something that you have like like if I have this object and I would like to select only this object I would kind of like mask it which means that I'm going to cut mm. everything else that surrounds it which is what kind of happens here yeah we do it a lot in um I mean we, I say that like I still work in video it's, it's something that is done a lot with like or I'm sure not anymore because AI but back in the day mm -hmm. there was a lot of masking and after effects yeah. to kind of create the, those special effects where like you'd have a random object floating around from another video um and then you'd have like tracking attached to the mask and then everything it was like a lot to manage at once. yeah so thank god for True. ai that's all yeah yeah runway <laughs> i was thinking that. now so about patricio does he's posting yeah. all these magics with <gasps> runway and that you can do mm -hmm. the masking like with a click and he's doing all of that with shaders yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but that's true people that works with video know the term too and and yeah. and for designers, so, maybe I feel like maybe one of the new softwares uh, have that magic. Hopefully too, because I I was thinking like, but I'm talking years back to mask a thing like you were saying manually in Photoshop. Oof, it was always like a pain, a, a yeah. pain to start like. So you know, annoying. Yeah, exactly. So there was a time where I used to work um, updating like a beauty brand's website, and they would mm -hmm. send me all of these ridiculous, like all of their ad products basically and I would have to like mask a lipstick and then put it onto this other layer mm -hmm. and then mask a face and then merge it into I was the yeah yeah job. yeah when I had to I mask mean, people it whatever. was the worst because the hair it. like when you have to mask like hair Always and the these hair. things so annoying uh, yeah like when you have like I'm an object like this it's so easy because it's I don't know it's geometric yeah. so then you just like what if you have something no the hair but yeah, I think of for algorithms actually, because you see the computer does it like <laughs> so quickly. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. just tell so fast. tell the computer so which are nice. the objects, and then yeah, that's it. No more masking and feathering. Oh, so mm -hmm. much of that in my past life. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad here. that I'm not the only one who used burn all the time. Nerd disco is yeah. Tim. Tim. Yeah, yeah, uses Tim. It. Tim. Or used Color it Dutch. I feel like it's just like a rite of passage. Mm. Um, or was anyways back in the day um, and then so the last one that I have actually is linear burn which is like not so different just like I guess the line to the whatever the math is that describes it is like a straight line across the center um, I don't know if the analogy makes sense to anyone but me but whenever I think of linear I think of of like XY positions and the straight line across the stream screen that it traces so this is basically a linear burn so let's see how it's different is it very different i don't see a difference can you go back and forth <clears throat> yeah i think it's quite the same ah i see it is but darker I mean also, it's darker oh, wait, it is the purple different. is yeah. like reddish in the other one because it seems that it's darker the linear yeah. burn is yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. darker okay so there's a little, a little which bit means better. that goes yeah. more towards uh black which is black is I always zero right and one is white zero, yeah. in shader or yeah yeah so that means yeah. at least we can explain that part now when I think about it that this one is going more towards the zero spectrum rather than the other one going more towards one mm. <clears throat> yeah so those are I mean so basically these are all of the the like blend modes that I found fun but there are others like like you saw I mean there's like four other ones on the Godot. Yeah, is I'm it Godot? Go I don't know. Someone now in the, in the chat is making me doubt. Someone said they used to call it Godot, but that doesn't. Mm. I've I've heard Godot personally, but also I've I've read the play, waiting for Godot. So I could. Oh, there's a play about this wrong. Godot. Waiting for Godot. Yeah, it's like, um, it's like this very classic thing that they make you read in theater school. 
I've never heard, heard of it actually. before, so it's the first time. <laughs> High school theater class, waiting for Godot. It's like a dude that's waiting for this. Maybe like who, who has Old Segodia? Maybe he knows, or she knows, or they know. Old Segosha. No, Old Segosha is a, a dude, I think. And it's like a, a Irish term, Old Segosha, for saying your old friend. No, but I wonder if uh, he knows, then why is it called Godot? Because he shared the... No, it's not. He said he thinks it's... He had never... Is it Pumperdeath? Who said... He he always thought it was Go Dot. But I think oh, it's okay. Godo. Maybe it is Go Dot. I don't know. Is it Go Dot? I've heard it on YouTube called Godo. Know. But I mean, who knows? Maybe Good your Godot. game's beautiful. Hmm. Ah, so they have a lot of shit stuff for gaming in here. Yeah, it's like an open source gaming, um, mm. game development engine. Video game mm. uh, engine. Which I've heard is kind of great, but mm. I mean, one can only learn so many things. Yeah. I don't know. That's why I never yeah. even check this. And I bookmarked it because I thought it was an interesting website, but I actually never did. <laughs> so there's always so much stuff. I think it's also like node based. I could be wrong, but I. And, anyways, like I think for me, oh yeah, and there's like timelines and stuff. I mean, everyone has timelines for animating, but yeah. Um, oh, I'm about to sneeze. No. I'm well, I, sneeze. Should I mute you? Um, <laughs> no, I think I'm okay. It, it went away. Um, but yeah, I mean, whatever whatever environment allows people to be creative, I think, is the one that they should pick. There's like no per there's no one right one or whatever. Yeah, I always um, like to say that when people ask me, like, oh, can you recommend a tool? Like that is easy, and I always said, "Oh, uh, that's hard to say because every person is different." So, what is easy for me can be really hard for right? you, I'm or always, the opposite. My first question, my first question is always like, "What do you want to make?" And then they stop and they realize that they have no idea mm. what they actually want to make. They just feel like they should be doing it because people seem around them seem to be doing yeah. it. And like, think about whatever it is creatively that you're interested in exploring. Yeah. And then go from there. And then they they're like, "Oh, I should probably think about that." Like, yeah, you need yeah. an idea. Yeah, and At I, least something that you're curious to explore. And then it's good to explore maybe more than one tool until you find the one that you're like totally. really comfortable. Not not because yeah, everybody is using it, but because you already tried and then you agree that it's good or maybe you find another tool that is not what is mainstream and, and you liked it and I think that's okay too. So yeah, and it all depends on your, like, I guess, intentions and aspirations. And, like, also, because, like, it's very easy to say uh, P5 is great for beginners, but then do you care about developing for the browser? Maybe not, so that wouldn't be for you. Maybe processing would be better. Mm -hmm. Or, like, I don't know, maybe you're really into uh, a 3D environment, so Unity is so good for beginners. I would, I would say I would recommend Unity over Unreal to start, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Because, like, uh, yeah, it's very beginner-friendly, but... Yeah, I don't know. That's a tangent. Anyways, yeah. so I don't know. We have like I need to go in fifteen minutes, but we can still play for a little. Bit. Yeah, I was just gonna say that, but I'm so happy that we already went through all of the blend months. Um, for now, yes, it was very so. speedy. I hope I didn't go too quick. No, I think <laughs> I feel it was... like it's very straightforward. Yeah, I think so. So and and maybe yeah. for like Tom that was asking as well, uh, again that why did you um, put the colors in like uh, variables? Um, I, I would say that this is one of the reasons that as well when I code I try to put everything in variables because you start growing your code like more and more mm. and more and more and then you might get lost <laughs> on the way so and it's nice to reach out to the stuff um, if you have like oh yeah already leave like, yourself breadcrumbs man yeah oh yeah I I has I feel like we're all I feel like people in the chat everyone has poked at code hasn't has everyone like opened a project that they coded a year ago and been like oh crap what was mm -hmm. this about where was i going with this how does any of this work even three months um, so, on my case oh, sometimes yeah. like and if i don't put comments and that's my own code imagine when it's like somebody else's code uh, uh, so oh yeah, yeah. It's like, i am very oh. i i write as if the person a week usually yeah i mean even i take like a lot of notes i write comments in my code as I'm writing it, but then I even will write down like, okay, this is what I was thinking and this is what I learned while I was coding this today and I like timestamp it in my in my Notion doc. But don't get me started on Notion. I could talk about Notion for forever. 
<laughs> yeah, that's too much. That's before. too much for me. I think I comment a lot on my code, but that's that's enough for me. Like yeah. I just write a tons of comments on top or on the side, wherever. Yeah. I feel like it's not I just something don't like you like... be. Ah, no, I mean, yeah, of course. But I anytime I learn a new concept, I definitely take the time to write about it anyways. I noticed for me that writing it out mm -hmm. is a way to integrate it. Mm -hmm. If I can't explain it to myself, then I haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, yeah. Go dot Godot too because of waiting for Godot. Right, yeah. okay, it is spelled like exactly Samuel the same. Beckett. It is Samuel Beckett. Oh, it's Irish, I didn't know. Irish too. Oh, okay, my name is Mark. Oh, hello, Mark then. Thanks Hi, for Mark. that. I mean, I like Old Sedosha because you took the time to explain what it meant. Mm. I kind of find it very charming as a screen name. Okay. Old Sedosha. Oh, um, Ireland. But yeah. Hmm? Oh, I was just thinking about Ireland. I've never been in Ireland, so I would love to go there one day. I also Have haven't been, been to Ireland. No, and okay. I'm like I have lived in Europe for twelve years at this point, and I am Irish and Scottish. It's the same. We have I, the same uh, amount clearly. in Europe. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's wild. Though. Yeah, that's crazy. No, too. but like I've clearly properly like looked into my French roots, but I cannot believe it. But I also have heard that it's like you can't really get around Ireland and Scotland without a car, and I um, am mm -hmm. one of those people who doesn't drive. I would like to drive. It's the I same here, Eliza. Another it. thing that we have in common. I have so many I mean, years. We know and, that we're basically yeah, twins. Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, when I was back home in Mexico, I do drive there. But in here, like, I don't know. I, re I, 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 don't, re I don't drive uh, standard cars or, you know, that they are not automatic. Mm. <laughs> so, and I'm like, yeah. I don't know if I it's just that you're busy. It's, just, it's the same for me, so. <clears throat> I mean, I learned to drive when I was a teenager, but I was a, I am, I continue to be very, very uh, stressed out by tests. So when I went to do my driver's test, I did mm. it like two, two, three times. The yeah. written one, I passed no problem because no one's staring at you with a pen in their hand judging yeah. you. But yeah. like the driving part, even though my teachers were like sure that I was going to pass, I got so like <gasps> behind because the guy was just like there. And in Canada, they don't like they're not nice mm. they don't like say hi how are you they just like sit in the car silently with like bitch face and just like wait until you fuck up and they write it down so intimidating so was, like, <laughs> it was the worst the worst yeah yeah but same so here i, I did mind. try uh like for a while to to drive a such car like that is not automatic but i was terrible with the coordination and my cd yeah, back home about, there the was clutch. a lot of heels and i remember going up on a hill and then i didn't press the clutch correctly or whatever and then I was going down and I was like oh my fucking god Everyone, yeah. <laughs> like, that's so terrifying yeah yeah it's so terrifying the stalling so. and then the going backwards I would never want to do that yeah now. yeah so okay wait someone said in the chat regular uses of VEC3 stuff and float thingy does not help readability later I don't know regular if I understand your comment stuff. to me it's quite clear which comment regular? a float is a float and a VEC3 is a VEC3 what it's do you the mean? The second to last one. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, Pumper Dad. What What are you trying to yeah, say? Yeah, Tom. What What do you Can mean you with back three and float? What is he talking? about? Is it about? Tom and Tim? This is why yes. I get confused. Yes, Tom. When you guys show up in the chat. I'm like, wait. Puma Pardet, which sorry. I can never say. It's Tom Hilton. Tom. And then and Nerdisco is Tim. Yeah. Tim before, Tim Pietruski. Yeah. yeah. That's me naming my variables. Like that means it makes no sense later. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, I mean, I really like, I can't believe I'm saying this because I used to really not agree with this, but I really like typed languages because I find, especially, I mean, I definitely leave comments and stuff, but I do appreciate mm. the typed stuff because I actually am more easy, easily able to read my code backwards. Mm. Whereas like in a JavaScript pre-const, I mean, that stuff at least makes it a little bit better. But like <laughs> in the world of just var back in the day, I was always yeah. like, oh my God, I don't yeah. know what any of this means. Yeah, it must have definitely so, yeah. improved JavaScript if we're talking about mm -hmm. it. I really like the let cons instead of just var. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But this is even more let descriptive. And... Oh, yeah, the and the same in, in like... Uh, C sharp if you're in, in Python. Well, no, Python is just a regular old var as well, I think. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But it has other design qualities that make it easy to follow. Um, but yeah, 
I don't know. I feel like if we start something now and then I have to go in eight minutes. No, I think we should deal. stop the stream because I have to go too. So we talked about it also, this yeah. already so that um, we both wanted to leave early. So, uh, But I think it yes. was better than, than just not meeting to be able to totally to catch up and, and, totally. and to especially this thing that we were stuck last last time because um yeah. honestly i was I'm telling so you like we when i do my shaders i do <clears throat> sometimes because i learned last year to do the blend mode part and i know how to do otherwise when you don't want to blend them like we have them right now but it's one of the things that i just do it but i don't stop to like know it so that i can explain it because a lot of the stuff that i do with mm. shaders um, if I don't have to teach it, uh, it's like a different kind of Same. knowledge that you keep in your brain. Uh, but if they totally. ask you, it's like, oh, how to explain this? So, so, so this is the part that I actually enjoy about teaching because you learn in a different way what you normally learn, so that you can actually, yeah. you know, uh, put it That's out why there. I love teaching. <laughs> give me, give me a workshop, and I will learn the tech to teach it. That's exactly. like my favorite. I'm very like I'm super self motivated, but mm -hmm. it's also very hard for me to focus if I don't um know that i am uh how do you say that Ans i'm gonna be answering to somebody about it so like especially if it's my students then i get very excited um, um computational mama yeah coming right at the end yeah oh, thanks for darn. being here what and mark said that he can uh give us a He'll tour us in ireland we that's should, great we should go to ireland <laughs> yeah we should go <laughs> maybe one day we will take up your word and there's a surfing community I've which i wasn't aware Donegal. wow that's cool I didn't yeah. know people were surfing they in Ireland. They definitely have a coast there, so I couldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, that. Have. Don't yeah, apologize, computational know. mama. No, no, no. We are happy to have you always, yeah. even if it's only for the plastic. Exactly to say hello. Okay, and there will be a replay. Mm -hmm. But now I'm remembering our stream with Nicole, which FYI um, will be live on YouTube. The replay. I mm -hmm. just, it's there. We just keep forgetting to publish yeah. it live, but it's there. But she definitely uses blend modes, right? She. For that, sure that's why I thought this something. this link. Yeah was shared by her mm. because i know that when she came she mm. talked about it and she shared a link herself but it was a different website i think I that think also different. has yeah. uh, a lot of resources on blending modes uh, i think it was a github yeah. um, so ah, yeah in okay. her episode she will yeah. share as well that also link or that. tool or whatever and, and, and people yes. can check that out um, yeah awesome. so and i think okay so next time We've been so sporadic, but in the month of May and June, we will be more regular. Yeah, like last year. In our we'll, streams. Yeah, exactly. Like we're going to be on top of it a <laughs> bit more because finally, I feel like the world opened up a little bit in certain parts and then just like everything, everyone was moving around. Yeah. Um, but now yeah. the dust has settled. Yeah, exactly. Um, so do we know who we're having on our next stream already? Uh, no, not yet, but um, we have okay. really good surprises. And, and, and the least we to do. say we is that now it's not going to be like, see you next month or something, but uh, see yeah, you no, maybe no, in a couple of weeks. So uh, yeah. for everybody. So. Mid-May. Mid, mid yeah, think. exactly. Like. But we will obviously reconfirm on Twitter and Instagram. Mm -hmm. And... And we will update the agenda because people seem to be into the Twitch stream agenda, you were saying. Yeah, in the right? calendar, in the was calendar on our website. The so calendar. they can Sorry, put it up on their phones or their computers. That was calendar. me speaking French and English. <laughs> <laughs> the agenda. Oh, okay. Sorry, brain lag. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, and we'll make this repo, this repo, no, the, the code pen, I think, will be public, right? Yeah, so I always like, grab make the... it public once we publish the replays. I always wait. That we the blend so that kind of like people have like the replay together with the thing so if you yeah. follow us on twitter um normally is there where we um announce once the replay is up on youtube and then uh, by that time normally if, if you would go to my code pen like uh, all the code from every session is there for somebody oh, you're that so good. was asking really? the others oh it's your code pen in my head i was like github no yeah yeah because somebody asked like we should put it on that. github but uh, I'm not so very good and no. I'm always very lazy to be honest for everybody. So the least, the, the least that I can do. Possible. So since yeah. we do the code pen already, I just save it and then I just publish. Mm. Uh, that, so. I feel like this one I want to maybe put on the website too. It's very easy to integrate. We could we could put we it, ha, you could put it in our website in, in a, yeah, exactly. In what, yeah. what did we call our section? I forgot. <laughs> it's a long time that we don't. It's called. It. Uh, 
I have to. Let me check it. Yeah, Curious me too. I, was thinking, I was thinking the other day. It's such a shame because oh, it's tail today. I learned. Tail, we tail, have radio tail. UV smooth yeah. noise. The last you one should add it there. Wiggly noise. Yeah, because we okay. haven't updated. I am putting it in my projects folder that I want to add some of the other functions back because wiggly noise was our third stream and we've had a yeah. lot of streams. Yeah, and I think we talked Definitely. about putting something from Akela I think I remember and then yeah. we talked about putting I mean, something from somebody else and then we never did so yeah we can do so many we can do the layering with um, Nicole as well like we can simple we can take a simplified mm -hmm. snippet from each of those yeah we should really, maybe we should point. update it but this is what I meant for everybody <laughs> watching you see how we're like uh, <laughs> so with like I mean code, because everyone has least, a lot going on yeah everyone so, has a lot going on but, but at least you I can always find that the code pen that's you did such a good job on the website though it would be a shame if we let it be dormant yeah I yeah, think no, I would like there. to as a summer project try and update mm -hmm. update that anyways and the color modes is so easy to integrate so I'm gonna definitely do that one soon mm -hmm. and then I'll look back on the other ones and throw them in there mm. yay okay I'm gonna go vote cross your fingers guys that it all turns out okay. Yeah, best. And thanks for everybody and who stopped by. If you have no idea what I'm by. talking about, Google French election. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for being um, here. Cross warp. And yes, should be in there, but I can't remember who used it. I feel like that was probably. Cross warp. Uh, that wasn't here. Cost warp. Maybe that was something with. Oh, you Char. mean with Sean? Like, uh, or what is cost warp? Oh, I think he's, yeah, you might be right. But that's Ray Marching. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think know. that's just, we'll I, I think he means what show. we did with Sean so with the, what is it cosine called? Cosine Domain Warping. Yeah, Cosine yeah, Domain, cosine domain warping. warping. But it's not there either. I mean, that would be a very large snippet. That would take a couple a couple of days to figure out how to integrate yeah, easily yeah. and seamlessly. But possible. Anyways. Yeah, for Nerdisco okay, that is asking. Yeah, yeah, me too. Here is my code pen. Oh, wow. Just you have there. like the whole thing. In here, wait, but Tom, where is this from? Like, what is that? I don't that? know. Cause warp? Because I don't remember that. Feel free to ping either of us with a project that yeah. uses that so we can see what you are referring to. Yeah, because we have no idea what you mean. Um, I mean, I, I think you mean Sean, but... Uh, yeah, I'm cosine sure. domain. Oh, warp scale. Yeah, you definitely mean cosine domain warping. Yeah. Yes. So then actually that, that stuff, it's on my, if you go, that's why I put the link of my code pen now there. Um, just go to my, mm. um, to my pens and, and then in there is like everything from crazy minded, including the mm. session from Sean should be somewhere here. If you just go back and then probably here is the stuff that Tom is talking about. So that's what I meant. So just go there and should be here. Yeah, cosine domain warp warping scale. does. No, but yeah, so Tom is thinking of both cosine domain warping and iridescence, which are all things that, yeah, I want to add. I think the only thing, to be honest, that we couldn't add to the Today I Learn section is the feedback loop with the webcam, because that might be hard to mm -hmm. include. But otherwise, everything's pretty much. And to team, yeah, it's easy to find. I always tell people, just check my code pen. Just just go there and you'll find mm -hmm. all the code from all the sessions. Just, uh, they are public, except the ones that are, we have no replay again. So, But they will be there eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, everybody. So then happy awesome. Sunday and, and yeah, stay tuned. So we'll be back okay. like in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Go bash the fash. Thank you. That's the plan.